Hi everyone and welcome back to Living with Linda. In today's video, I just wanted to um, give a little bit of advice um, as a financial advisor and someone who has been debt free since 2016. Um, I am um, very mindful with my money um, and as everyone may already know, the government will be issuing a payment to um, families in America because of the situation that's happening with the coronavirus. There's so many people unable to work um, or people who have two, three jobs, only able to work one job and having that missing piece of income no longer coming in. So um, as of today, um, what they're stating is each adult will receive $1,000 to $1,200. I'm not sure if they decided which one. And then each one of those adults will be paid $500 for each child. And so I don't know if that's only if you paid your taxes last year. I don't know how exactly they are um, figuring out who's gonna be paid what but I'm sure it's a quick Google search. Some families will be only expecting, you know, a thousand to 1200. Other families may be expecting, you know, three, four, five, six thousand dollars $6,000. So I just wanted to jump on and give you a little bit of advice and five ways to responsibly utilize this stimulus check. Number one, purchase only what you need. Um, if you are not working and you know for a fact that your $3,000 check needs to go to your rent and where you're renting, um, they're not allowing for rent to be halted because some places are. So some places are allowing their residents to not have to pay their rent or only pay half or whatever that may be. Make sure you check that out if you're in that position. Um, but if you are not in that position and your full rent is due, then obviously you need a roof over your head. Um, you also want to purchase just things that you need. Food is a necessity. Um, so certain toiletries are necessities. Um, just different things like that. You obviously don't need a new outfit, even though Fashion Nova is 80% off right now. Just really being mindful on only purchasing things that you need. Number two, buy in bulk. And I know a lot of Costco's are working really, really hard to try to keep their shelves stocked. Fortunately, Costco isn't the only store that you can buy bulk in. Um, Sam's Club, uh, Smart and & Final, and those are just a few that I know that are here locally in Southern California, but I'm sure there are so many more. So it's always um, resourceful to buy in bulk. So if you normally just get maybe say a half gallon of milk, cause that's enough for you and your family for a week, now maybe you wanna buy a couple gallons and freeze it. Um, so that is an option for you. Another good thing, get a deep freezer. Right now in the city that I stay in, you cannot find one. So I am on the hunt <laughs> looking for a deep freezer. Um, luckily for me, we have really good freezer room. And so that allows us to buy in bulk. We have great cabinet space as well. But buying in bulk can save you a lot of money, especially since a lot of items can be frozen for up to months and months and months at a time, which allows you to be able to go back and utilize that, eat that, open that at a later time. So I definitely would suggest buying in bulk. And not just groceries, but um, pads, diapers, wipes, anything along those lines where you can buy in bulk. It's always cheaper. And now that we're being urged not to, well, in most places, there's like a curfew, you know, you can't go out. It allows you to not have to go outside and have all the items that you need. So highly suggest buy in bulk, but only what you need. Number three. If you've decided that, you know, you have enough income coming in to pay your rent, utilities, food, all your necessities for you and your family, and this extra check you may be considering putting, say, onto a debt, be very mindful on what debt 
you decide you want to pay off. Reason being um, interest rates. Now, I've kind of been hearing a little bit here and there that some companies are lowering their interest rates temporarily during this um, pandemic. So you definitely want to do your research. If you have one credit card that you want to pay off, but they're lowering your interest rate to 1% for the next three months, and you have another credit card that you weren't considering paying off, but they're not lowering their interest rate and it's 27%, you definitely want to maybe consider paying that one off first. So just a small example, be very mindful of what debts you decide that you want to pay. Check your interest rates. Check what that specific company is offering to you during this pandemic so that you can make the best decision for you and your family because that interest is what eats up all your money. Number four, save. If you're doing great and there's nothing that you and your family need, everything is in order, things are running smoothly, income is continuously coming in and you have no need to spend the money, don't. Save it. I'm the type of person where in super serious situations like this, it's better to be safe than to be sorry and you know, maybe it's silly to think, but for me, I'm like, if we ever get to the point to where stores and places aren't taking credit for whatever reason, and you need to have a debit card or cash on hand, I want to be able to be one of those people that have a debit card and cash on hand to get what I need. And so I would hope that it never comes to that. I would hope that things are still being replenished and that stores are able to get us exactly what we need. But for me, um, I, I understand in America how important credit is. That's why I keep mine at around an 800. So I get it. But I also understand that cash rules everything, even beyond that. So credit is king, absolutely. But cash at the end of the day, especially with the pandemic, rules everything. So if you're good to go and if you're stable and everything is paid off, you have everything that you need, save your money. And number five, invest in your future. And this can mean so many different things. Now, am I suggesting that you go out and buy a group of stocks because they're at one of their lowest that they've ever been? No, that's not what I'm suggesting. I don't know much about the stock market. I am still learning. So if that's something that you're interested in, I'm definitely gonna suggest that you reach out to somebody who specializes in that area or you do your own research because it's a hell of a game. <laughs> um, but what I am saying is that, you know, say you want to start your own business, but there are some things that you still need to learn. Maybe you should jump online and fund a few courses, you know, uh, take a master class if that's if you're really, really passionate about that. So definitely invest in your future in whatever way that may be now. For me, you know, I'm definitely going to suggest if you need to be working on your finances, invest in a financial advisor reach out to someone who um, is successful at managing and budgeting and saving and paying down debts and so forth because that's an investment that's something that you can utilize for the rest of your life your finances are always going to be extremely important to your life and in, in, in how you conduct your business so if that's the only area that you may need assistance with then i'm going to highly suggest that and what better financial advisor than me? I mean, <laughs> and I'm not saying I'm like the best financial advisor, but what I can say is that my methods work. All of my clients that have received my services have been very successful in whatever their goal was as long as they stuck to their budgets and their financial plans. I have some people out here killing it right now. I mean, killing it. You can check my Instagram if you'd like for some, you know, screenshots and sometimes I put up some customer reviews and so forth, but they're out here killing it. So what I can say is that my methods work. Are they the best in the entire world? I can't say that they are because I don't know every single method in the entire world. But what I can say is that the numbers don't lie. So even if it's not in your finances, make sure that if you have a couple dollars here and there to spare and you have the free time, now would probably be a great time for you to go ahead and invest in your future.
And that's it. That was my top five ways to be responsible with your coronavirus stimulus check. If you enjoy this type of content, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. I definitely hope that it's been helpful to you. I definitely hope um, that whatever will be given to you and your family will be sustainable and it'll be something that'll really help you during this time. Many blessings and health to you all. Until next time.